What's going on, everybody? Grandma back here with another Spellbinder video. Um, we recently just did a one where I showed you how, um, I don't want to brag, but we just demolished our opponents. So hopefully, in these matches here, if you can look at right now, I am number one. I didn't do too much playing from yesterday. I maybe played one or two games last night before I went to bed. And so I got the first place from that. And I went over 1,700 on my matchmaking points. I, that's what I'm going to call them. I don't know what they're called other than matchmaking points. And uh, again, we are still using Mortis because I think her unique units are the best units out of here. Because look, this one has Minotaur and Storm Spawn. Storm Spawn's good, but Storm Spawn can be taken care of very easily. And as well as Minotaur, he does the you know the quick four damage to whatever target it is. But and those two units, I mean, th in themselves, really aren't. Um, that strong unless you can stack stuff on it and then that requires things to happen and you can't you can't count on it so mortises units the vampire and lich are i think are the strongest units as far as the unique units are concerned and his um the druid is kind of cool but it can be taken out really easily a fireball or any unit really can take it out pretty quickly and the wisp is a really cool um unit but again, it can be hexed. It can be arcane spelled down. I mean, there's just so many ways to take care of it to where it, I don't think it has. I think it needs to have more health or it needs to have a spell shield. I don't think it. It could stay at two health, but with a spell shield would make it more viable uh, for a unique unit, I think. But if we go back to the legions I was talking about, when you, we're going to go ahead and quick play real quick. Um, the legion is the best. The thing about this, it gives you a spell shield on three units in each lane. That's four mana right there. Because if you were to put a spell shield on each unit, each lane, that would cost you 12 mana total because it's four mana per spell shield each lane, plus the units you're getting in each lane. So, I mean, really, unless someone can make a case to me why the Legion isn't the best choice there, I'm all ears. So we're going up against Bana. We're going to give him the good luck charm. Um, let's see what happens here. Okay, so we got the vampire medium unit. So I'm going to take the medium unit and go up top lane there. He is going to steal the middle one that's cool i'm gonna go ahead and play the vampire here in the bottom oh so he played legion and his mana shield so what i'm gonna do is this and i'm gonna play this here and i'm gonna give him health so right now um it's looking pretty bad he had a really strong start that's okay though because now it's over his strong start is over and he is going to be crushed and it's just no way about it there's nothing he can do really to stop it from happening so he should have saved that um, what we're gonna do is we'll freeze here in the middle because he froze there we're gonna play unit at the top there um, spell shield in the middle okay so that's kinda good um, we're gonna go ahead and give this guy a little bit of rage boost and we're gonna wait and we're gonna play the scout nope we'll not play scout there we're gonna play the small unit and, oh. okay shoot I'm gonna have to play the small unit here and hopefully I'm going to have to play this medium unit quickly to take out that um, perfect there. I don't think that your unit should target. If it's if it has a spell shield, I think it shouldn't target there. We don't need to play that because it's going to capture and stop that. That's cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to play our archer here. Oh, crap. Like I said, um, archers are best used in the middle lane just because of so we'll scout the bottom lane here. We'll play the small unit up top. Actually, you know what? No, he'll keep that. He'll keep that there. We'll play our medium unit here in the middle, and we're gonna hopefully gonna give him rage. Um, we'll play the actually no, we're gonna play the commander here in the middle, and then we're gonna scatter the top lane because of what he just did there. So we will scatter now. That'll put him in the middle lane. Plus we're gonna put a. Uh, let's we'll hex him. That way we can get the most units out of that. We're gonna play here. We're gonna scout the top lane gonna keep this rolling we're gonna fireball that vampire down I just don't want that um, steal too much health perfect like that and then we should be a-okay here to get this victory yeah we're gonna get it right now one two oh shoot I thought they were gonna shoot off before it so I'm just gonna keep unit playing unit and then there we go so at the beginning there he played a lot and I don't know how I survived it and we are still we do on a win streak now a three win win streak which gives us the three stars each and again I'm not gonna watch the video to double up because it's what am I getting those runes for the skins I don't want you know what I mean so there's no point in using using those runes or trying to gain more runes 
Um, they should do it for coins. That would be the smart thing because that's what people actually need. If you look here in my uh, upgrades I have available, still, like, I could get max health. I could get another health or I could get another mana. But really, I mean, I'm not needing that right now. And I want to save these coins so that way I can use my mana and my um, power charge and also buy uh, a troop at the beginning, which I always buy the Legion. So we're going to go ahead and jump into another one real quick. And I just, I don't know, like, if it get, again, if you think there's a better pick there at the beginning, let me know why. And then show me case why it's, it's better because I've won more games with the Legion than any other one of those combined. Boss Joseph 7. Let's give him the good old good luck. And let's see how this turns out. Okay, so hopefully we get some stronger units. Okay, so that's not not bad. Play the medium up top here. Okay, so he's going to play that there. So what I'm going to do is play a small unit to the bottom here. We'll play the commander up top. And he is going to... So what we'll do is... That's going to even out. So we'll fireball that. Oh, wow. We somehow won that. That's pretty awesome. So then we'll play the archer here in the middle. And then I'm going to use this sandstorm. Now, this is one thing that I'm starting to learn. Use your abilities, like not your abilities, your spells, to get them out of the way. There's no reason um, to, to keep a spell if you're not going to need it. So I'm going to go ahead and have to claim that because he's going to have three on me. Um, and we're going to need to probably, I uh, no, actually, we'll save this for now. We'll play the small unit up top there to get there quickly. And then we're going to play the Berserker here. We'll play the Berserker there. We'll play the Archer. Unless he plays something else. Okay, so no. We will play an Archer. And then we're going to wait and see what he plays. Okay, so he's got two Archers in the middle. I got this Boulder and Rage Spell I need to use. But I don't know where I'm going to use them. So I'll play the Beastmaster towards the bottom here. And I will... Let's see. I'm going to Rage here. Just to give me a little bit of an advantage. Okay, so he's going to scatter. That's to my... Actually, we're going to head and help them up. That way he can't take them out. Play the small unit here in the middle lane to keep that going. I'm going to freeze oh, just in time. Okay, so I'm going to get that 10 shot off. That Manator. So I'm going to go ahead and boulder this lane down just to get rid of that spell because I don't need it. Sandstorm here because I don't need that. And then we're going to go ahead and um, shoot. So we'll play this large unit here to match up against this guy. We'll play the Vampire here in the bottom. And we're going to hopefully be able to scatter and claim. In this bottom lane here okay so now we're going to scatter and claim so that was a pretty good combo on in my opinion uh, now we're going to have to freeze this top here let's go ahead and use our mana just to give ourselves a little bit of an edge here and oof, we're going to play a medium unit here and give it two health hopefully that vampire steals some health to help him out a little bit come on steal some health steal some health we're going to go ahead and hex that middle lane um that guy's going to get there at the bottom spell shield quickly boom all right, that's a good play there for me, I think. I'm going to go ahead and play that there. And we're going to go ahead and give them more health. They're going to get to that, I think. Yeah, they're going to get there. That's perfect. So I'm going to wait and play this Beastmaster after we get... Well, actually, no. I'm going to have to play it now. Because he had the Steel spell. Or no, Cannon. Whatever this... I forget what it's called. This. Okay, well, we're going to head and shoot him down. Same, he's pretty low on mana right now. And we're going to play this large unit here in the middle. He's going to scout, but it's going to even out, and we're going to go ahead and win this game. Uh, I could have been a little tricky there and scattered that bomber out of the way, but I just, I didn't need to. So we're still on a win victory, which is awesome. Um, wow, we got significant amount of matchmaking points. Before, I've been getting like four or five per win, and now we've gotten significantly more. So that that's uh, a lot different from my uh, different ex or past experiences. So let's go ahead and let's refill our mana charge there. Let's go ahead and play another one. And I'm just going to show you uh, a game with the Colossus versus the Legion. Just uh, I'm going to play it just like I would if it was the Legion, where I'm going to play it when I have uh, an advantage. And I'm not just going to play it out there and hopefully it makes I'm going to play it when I have an advantage. And hopefully I will create that advantage. Um, but we're going to see how it works out. My fingers are crossed that I get this W. Oh, we're playing against these same guys. So it must be not a lot of people playing on right now. Uh, we're mixing it up against him, then so he's going to be expecting the Legion, but we brought the Colossus. Um, let's see what goes on here. Okay, so let's play our large unit matches in the lane there. And then we are going to play... Actually, we could stack up. This is what we're going to do then. We're going to go ahead and do that. I think I might want to scatter. 
and scatter. Perfect. So now what we'll do is we're going to see if we get a spell. Perfect. We're going to hex all that. This is just absolutely amazing right now. I'm going to go ahead and give him health up. He is – he did he buy health? I don't remember him having that much health before. Okay, so he's going to steal that, but we're still going to get there. Um, let's go ahead and play this large unit here in the middle and get ready for another push. Wow, it's like basically having an overcharge right there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play that boulder, and we should take out that Minotaur in the top lane and capture that. So he shouldn't have anything to counter this right now. We're going to go ahead and arcane that because it's going to take it all out before he gets damage. Because he got one damage off, he played it too late. That's fine. Uh-oh. We're disconnecting. This hasn't happened to me in a while. The server's been fine after the update, so that's fine right there. Okay. Whew. Thought something scary was going to happen. Let's go ahead and play the small unit up top. We're going to use that and get it up with. Um, we'll play this vampire here in the middle. Let's get over and claim this just to get that out of the way, get some damage going. Um, let's play the large unit to deal with that up top. Let's go ahead and freeze those since they're going to. Now, when you get the vampire to get some health steal, it'll be really important to get some health steal right now. Okay, hopefully, I can get a combo off with the uh, one, two. Okay, ready, and hopefully, I can get the freeze. Okay, the freeze off just in time. All right, so the matchup on top is not going to work out for me in my favor. So, oh, thankfully, another freeze. Perfect. I mean, really, it can't get any more in my favor. And I'm going to go ahead and fireball that down just to eliminate his troops that he has available out there. Play this commander to help get some damage off. More than what he should have been. Okay, so I will claim that, and then it's going to be GG. Okay, so I beat the same guy back to back. I wonder if I get more points um, against him. And then there I use the Colossus. And again, let me make sure it's clear. If I didn't have that scatter, if I, you know, and I didn't get that hex off on all those units, I would have been screwed because I had nothing to deal with all those units because I didn't get a fireball and I didn't get an arcane spell. So the randomness is one thing that I want to talk about as far as. Would you rather be able to pick certain? Because if we go here and we check out the units and spells, so you're allowed to take all of these spells and all of these units, and they're obviously you have your unique units for your different titans. But would you rather be able to pick, let's say, five specific specific units and five specific spells, or would you, or do you like the randomness to where you don't know if you're going to get what you need? I recently have been getting a lot of luck on the spells and units I've been getting. And it hasn't really screwed me over yet. But in the past, before this update, I remember where I would it would be like lopsided matches. I would either steamroll my opponent or I would absolutely get crushed. And that last game was an example of something like that. Before they, I don't even know, like, I got lucky with that scatter. It all went to the bottom lane. Plus he played a unit down there, I think it was a wizard. And I hexed it all. And that was incredible value. I don't, I don't know how, like... If I wouldn't have those spells in my deck, I wouldn't be able to do that combo. So then, then again, it's like a double-edged sword where having though that randomness factor, it, it helped me out there. Another thing I think this game needs is a replay, like being able to go back and look at your matches. N maybe not all of them, maybe just a handful, a few of them, even just one. Like if you could go back and watch your last match and see maybe what you did wrong, maybe what you did right, and you could see like – the mana that you have versus they have and how you played it efficiently or if it caused you to lose the game maybe you could learn and critique on your play style like hey maybe i shouldn't just spam units out maybe i should wait and hold on to them and that's what i've been noticing is my gameplay has been more defensive i've been reacting instead of acting so if it's, i'm not just going to play units out there i'm going to wait and see maybe if he plays something that i can counter with what i have if not just going to play my spells and my units until i get something that's in my favor so I'm still enjoying this game. I think I'm going to enjoy this game for quite a while, especially if there's more content coming out or if there's going to be different changes to what's going to happen in the future. And we are now 11 victory points ahead of person second place. Hopefully I can keep that up and stay in the lead there. Uh, he hasn't played since he first got his points, which that's fine. That is totally okay. I will definitely accept that. You know, I'm not going to say, oh, I, I didn't get first place because he didn't play. I'm earning first place right now. So if you're still enjoying the game, if you're thinking the game needs a few tweaks to make it a lot better than what it is right now, or if you think the game is just absolutely perfect as it is, let me know in the comments below. Leave a like on the button. Get subscribed to see more content like this. Thank you for watching, and peace.